Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game beloved by millions of players. Released in 2018, Rockstar has made over $1.25 billion from sales. While the game is amazing, there are plenty of dumb things in it that cannot be easily ignored. Warning, spoilers ahead. Number 1. Arthur can get shot up repeatedly, and instead of bleeding out, all he has to do is eat a piece of meat and he'll be all better. If healing were that easy, healthcare would not exist. Number 2. Horses drain an incredible amount of stamina in a short amount of time. I am aware that horses gain more stamina if you bond with them to level 4, but it's honestly absurd how much stamina gets drained in such a short amount of time, considering the fact that horses are basically the only means of transportation in Red Dead 2. So it's dumb that you have to stop riding every 2 minutes so that your horsey can drink some Gatorade. Number 3. Speaking of horses, if you have momentum and accidentally hit a rock or trip over a pebble while riding on a horse, the horse will go flying and you with it. This usually ends in the horse either getting hurt or dying. I understand this game is realistic, but I wish they had copied the original Red Dead Redemption and allowed you to stay super glued on your horse no matter how many walls you crashed into head on. Number 4. The only food in the game that fully restores your cores is fully cooked meat, which takes a decent bit of time to acquire, because you have to hunt the animal, then skin it, and then cook it over a campfire song song, just so Arthur can maintain his physique and not go hungry. The reason why this is dumb is because stores in the game sell plenty of food, like vegetables and assorted biscuits, yet none of them restore your cores back to full unless you eat them in large quantities, which means, in order to get a decent meal, you either have to hunt it or wait 12 hours for the camp stew to finish cooking. I mean, look at Popeye. The dude only had to eat one can of spinach and he would get jacked. Number 5. Throughout the game, Dutch Planderland is constantly talking about how much money we need to make in order to leave for Tahiti. He makes it sound like buying land, even if it was for 12 people, will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Which is silly, because halfway through the game, the player makes around $5,000 through various heists, train robberies, and stick-ups. That kind of money, when converted to 1800s currency, is around 100000 US dollars, and that's just for 5k. By chapter 6, any player that's sat on money will have amassed closer to $20,000, which is well over 400k more than enough to buy any kind of tropical island getaway. It's honestly baffling how no one in the camp comments about how dumb this is. Number 6. In typical GTA fashion, some missions in Red Dead Redemption 2 are shootouts with the police slash Pinkertons. For the most part, these missions are actually a lot of fun. They're engaging, fast-paced, and action-packed. The dumb part is that during these fights, Arthur doesn't lose any honor, despite the fact that he is literally killing lawmen. But, if you accidentally kill a horse mid-battle, he loses honor. Most of the time, it's completely by mistake, because sometimes the horse just comes out of nowhere, and the big-ass head gets in the way of my bullet. This same logic applies when enemies are chasing you on horseback. I guess Rockstar thinks that horses' lives are more valuable than humans. And they'd be right. Number 7. Shopkeepers, specifically tailors, will actually get annoyed if you take your time selecting an item. Could we please get this over and done with? Like, dude, I'm shopping in your store and paying you money, and you're complaining about me taking my time? It's like you're deciding what to order at McDonald's, and the employee sighs and says, Sir, can you please hurry the F up? I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the player's honor level or not, but from my experience, when it comes to buying clothes, I like to take a lot of time trying them on and seeing what fits me best. I'm not buying a candy bar here, I'm buying drip, and that takes a long time to get just right. I mean, just look at Dutch. Mans must have spent thousands of hours on his looks, and boy does it show. Number 8. The graphics menu has a billion choices whose actual purpose is unknown to 90% of gamers. Like, what is parallax occlusion? I understand that there are some gamers with 4090 PCs that want to spend a large majority of their day tweaking every individual graphics setting to suit their needs, but most players, myself included, just want to jump right in and play. Look, the game is going to look beautiful regardless of any tweaks you make to it. Check this out. This is the difference between medium and high grass quality. Can you see the difference? I don't. Number 9. Whenever Arthur gets robbed, instead of knocking him out or shooting him in the face before he has a chance to react, the robbers will lightly smack him with a pistol and then turn their backs to him. Yeah, real smart turning your back on a conscious gunslinger who has a $5,000 bounty on his head across West Elizabeth. I wonder how that will end. Which also raises a good point. Shouldn't there be, like, thousands of bounty hunters out looking for Arthur? That would be one heck of a payday if any of them managed to turn him into the authorities. I guess it's like a John Wick situation, where they know about the bounty, but have no intentions of risking their lives to fulfill it. Number 10. Arthur can't access New Austin, which is literally like half of the map, even though there are hidden, recorded dialogues of him speaking. Check it out. Hello, mister. Ain't gonna be the oh, last time, hi. either. 
Sorry you got it so bad here. This proves that Arthur was supposed to have a major role in New Austin, and for some reason, Rockstar decided to scrap it for what reason? I have no idea. I also know that Rockstar cut out a lot of stuff from Guarma as well. I wonder where all the extra time went to. Number 11. Trying to reel in any legendary fish using the left analog stick will basically break your thumbs in half. I don't know what kind of psychopathic sadist at Rockstar designed it like this, but if you don't want to go through the hassle, I highly recommend binding the reel button to X on an Xbox controller or square on a PlayStation controller. It makes fishing a much easier and more enjoyable experience than trying to play Nitro with your thumb. If I wanted that much resistance, I would go to my local bait and tackle shop, purchase some worms and a rod, and then go take my Ponto out and fish in real life. I doubt it would be nearly as difficult as doing it in game. These are just a few of many dumb things that I noticed while playing Red Dead Redemption 2. If you found more dumb things during your playthrough, please leave a comment below. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.